Today is going to be the day that they throw it all back to you. Should have bought Bitcoin by now, but it's all up to you. Because I don't give financial advice, and you should know that too about me now. Guys, Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I overdose, so you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter, your daily dose of crypto. I'm bullish. Buy that dip and one Bitcoin still equals one Bitcoin. Guys, I got some great content over here. The only thing I'm accumulating right now are these free Xbox Live games. Dog. Panda Express is better than any other Chinese food restaurant I've ever eaten at. Of course. I'm, hopefully, I'm going to go there today. But yeah, Twitter sentiment is pretty salty. So I think um, we don't know what's going down. So everybody's kind of just doing everything else, you know. But I don't know, guys. There's a... Uh, you know, there, there's a good amount of uh, salt still on Twitter, and I don't know if the market knows where we're going to be headed. So it's kind of funny. Um, we're maintaining that 6,100 level, exactly what I called. Um, you know, I, guys, I, I called this whole dip yesterday, this whole short squeeze two days ago. Um, just, it's ironic that it's actually happening. Usually I can't call anything, and, you know, nobody really can. So... Just the fact that you can see these moves coming is... <sighs> uh, uh, oh. Does that mean that uh, I'm getting bored of crypto and that BTC is not volatile enough for us anymore? Because <laughs> I just yawned? It totally could. I mean, oh my gosh, like, with all of the sentiment going on right now, like, we're in this really weird period, you know, where we're just kind of chilling at 6k. We're, we're exactly where we were before the November spike. And I like it. I, don't, I like this area. Um, I know accumulation is key here. Uh, getting as much fiat into this market as you can. Now, I don't. It could go lower, guys. It definitely could. I mean, I don't. I don't know if we're at the bottom yet. I don't think we are. But um, I was watching this awesome CNBC video yesterday, and maybe it was not. Maybe it was MSN. It was one of those like crypto money interviews with uh one of the crypto blockchain uh corporate fund managers i can't remember his name and it's gonna bug me now but anyways he uh he was saying how he is averaging in already now because he never can find the bottom and that is like the one of the most true things ever um i saw this chart today on trading view where i had somebody doing the cup and handle for me and with Bitcoin. I was like that that is ridiculous but his accumulation zone as we check up right here <laughs> the sad face that he's got like the accumulation zone from about 6200 down to about 45 and he said it's going to be about 138 days before we see this thing start going back up and you know what it yeah it made me laugh at first but I was like that we totally could have we could have almost a year of sideways trading <laughs> So, I don't know. I mean, that'd be an interesting thing. We'd settle in up for a good bottom. Of course, guys, you know I'm looking at that monthly MACD, and we need this thing to hold. We need this thing to hold above this, and it looks like it's about to cross over. And I don't know if that's a death cross on a macro level, like on a monthly level, but it looks fucking terrifying. And I hate that. I mean, what we have one month of uptrend and one month of sideways trading, volatile sideways trading, and then we had another month of sideways trading. So we've been, again, guys, if we close above this 6,600, I think we're going to be chilling up in this good range. But we need four days of uptrend pretty much to get up there because we're going to we're gonna get that leg up and then we're going to get two steps back we get a leg up two steps back like we usually do i mean with this bart simpson pattern coming up you know like one one leg up one down one leg up two down you know so we gotta get this up um again i'm looking I, there's nothing to read technically here really anymore except for that we have pretty good support along the 6100 line but the fact that we double bottomed and dipped out makes me think that we still have a little bit more sell side. And that sucks. We need to, like I said, we need to close the monthly above this moving average to kind of settle this score, you know, make, make it so we can consolidate again. So I think we're in a pretty critical, like, last couple of days for June. 
and into July, we should see really like six months of downtrend is a lot in this market. So if we have six full months of downtrend, I'm saying like we don't pick up at the end of the month here. Like this last, I guess, have five days. Um, we could be in for some serious uh, butt hurt salty people. That's all I'm going to say about this market though. Guys, uh, we chill over at the market cap and we're breaking below that 250 again. I don't like it. Bitcoin dominance is headed up. Remember guys, I called 50% on this a while back. Um, I think we're going to hit 50%. I really do before we see this whole shakeout. Uh, and 50% would put Bitcoin at about the 5k range. And that's why that support has been there for so long. Um, it might dip a little bit under guys, 4,900. I mean, we, we have definitely buyers up at that level, um, just because it's psychological support and because a lot of people who bought down here are still holding like the 2000 range up to 5,000. Um, we still have a lot of support, just general like rally support. So I think we'll, I think we'll be good. Who knows though? Um, I know people are calling for 4,400 people are calling 3,900 and I don't like those numbers because I think if we get below five too much, it's just a free fall down the two and Bitcoin could totally go down the two. I'm still not ruling it out. Um, we have good long-term support there. I've drawn the line there forever. Uh, but I still think we need to get above this 8,000 level to really see if we can retest these highs like 10 K and 11 seven um but yeah for right now literally i think it's just getting as much fiat into this market as you can kind of figure out and yeah it might be a couple it might be two years of sideways trading i don't care you don't want to miss the next run that we have up here so i'm just gonna let you guys know that right now um not financial advice again but that's what i'm gonna be doing so what am I doing today specifically? Really just watching market sentiment, um, getting a good read on the market. And, you know, the four hour candles don't look tradable right now. Um, I have the, uh, I should put the uh, Heikinashi candles on, really see this trend. So, I mean, there's not really much sell pressure right now, but that could all change with one liquidated long. And same thing with a liquidated short, that could change to go up to the upside. So, I'm looking for a break above 6,600. Uh, I could see it moving up to 64 today. I could also see it moving down to 58 today. So, I don't know, guys. 58, we do not we, we do not want liquidated longs. That's all I can tell you. Not right now. We're in too much of a critical moment for Bitcoin. And I absolutely love Bitcoin long term. But again, short term trades are not doing us justice right now we do not want to be doing these um day trades are off the table today probably and that's okay sometimes you can't always trade against this especially when you don't know where the kings are about to do so that's all i'm looking at i guess guys nothing else on the table for me but i hope you guys found this a little bit helpful if you didn't drop a dislike if you did drop a like go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter again guys just giving it to you how I see the market and I'm your daily dose of crypto I overdose so you guys don't have to actually you know what we should check the news but if you guys got t technical analysis out of the way then you can probably skip the rest of this video it's probably not going to be relevant to you um, but I will check a little bit of the coin news I want to see what's happening up on you know say CCN crypto coin news okay a Visa cryptocurrency might only be worth three billion. Wow, why is that? I don't know about that, guys. Uh, I could see it. I could see it being true. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Breaking new ground. South Africa gets its first Bitcoin ATM, and this is all what I was saying last year about. Um, last year I was talking a lot about. Well, I didn't even have a video channel, I guess, at the time. But I was always saying to people how, like, people who don't have banks are just going to skip right to Bitcoin because Bitcoin's, like, a way better way to do banking and you don't have to centralize it at all. It's all decentralized. And not only that, it's just, like, it's easier to, like, skip, you know? Like, why would you get a home phone if 
cell phones already out. Big, like, that's exactly what South Africa did. That's exactly what Africa did. So, I don't know. It's a great way to, you know, get mainstream adoption, I guess. So, it's nice to get that Bitcoin ATM everywhere, you know. And the ATM will help just put, well, like, money in people's pockets. And that's all we need, really, you know. Second Bitcoin mining manufacturer plots Hong Kong IPO. So, that's nice. You know, more mining, obviously. Uh, Tron activates their main net. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, you know, short Tron probably because I don't know how long it's going to last, but I don't think I've ever really been on this website before. It's not really that good, to be honest. How about this? Eat BTC. It's funny. Um, Alibaba. Okay, Jack Ma reiterates that Bitcoin is a bubble while embracing blockchain for Ant Financial. Okay. So, you know. Hypocrite here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Bitcoin might be in the bubble, guys. Well, it probably already was, to be honest. I mean, you can't tell me this wasn't um, pretty strange price movement. So Jack Ma might have something going on there, but, uh, you know, he uh, definitely uses blockchain technology, so that's fine. Uh, Alipay claims global first blockchain remittance. This is important. Alipay, the payment affiliate of Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba, has trialed its first cross-border remittance between Hong Kong and the Philippines, a move touted as the first mobile wallet-based money transfer supported by blockchain technology. Guys, see, everybody's got this idea that uh, blockchain just works on by itself, but it'll be backed by... Bitcoin and not only that it'll be backed by cryptocurrencies in general you need all private blockchains have needed a cryptocurrency in order to operate and that is something a lot of people don't understand because it's just the way that the technology is built so everybody will be using cryptocurrencies even on their private blockchains so the fact that Bitcoin is the king behind all of that and is the the most unhackable one and the most like proof based one means that it will be like the standard to cryptocurrencies, even on private blockchains, even on, um, you know, public blockchains, it'll just be the king. And that's awesome. So all these people who want to decouple Bitcoin from all these other pairs are way off in that situation. Um, you don't want that actually, you really don't want that because Bitcoin's got the most network power. It's got the most hash. Um, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, well, like Bitcoin's useless because all these other ones are faster, but that's not the, really the case, I guess. It's more like Bitcoin is the most developed, it's the best network actually that's proven to be totally effective, it's never been hacked. Um, you know, it's a good non-third-party means to get money across and stuff like that. So I guess like... We want Bitcoin to stay coupled to all these altcoins. I get it. You're losing a lot of positions. You're losing a lot of money positions right now, but it doesn't matter. You guys should just stay in Bitcoin. I'm not saying I'm a Bitcoin maximalist, but I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. Definitely. Because I don't know, guys, it's, it's the, it's the most believable network. I guess I don't, I don't really trust all these like third parties or I don't really trust like all these people to, uh, create better blockchains I guess when it's only ideas at this point yeah eventually yeah Bitcoin won't be the king like won't be the fastest way to do it but it'll have the most value in the sense of like actual hash power and shit unless the people all like abandon like unless if all the miners abandon it and start mining Ethereum or something like that or start mining Bitcoin cash or start mining Ripple well I don't even know if you can mine Ripple Yas, maybe, but like all in all, I think Bitcoin's just gonna run this market for a long time. I think it's digi digital gold, and a lot of people see that. And it's only got 21 million. The fact that you can't create more, maybe I don't know, people are just gonna be like, Oh, yeah, like maybe we don't even need Bitcoin, but I don't know. I think it's the most valuable one here, and I think I think the market agrees at that point. So you get that link, it um. But yeah, for overall top 100, 
five box token is probably like doing the worst. Oh, very potassium. Always in the news. Always doing bad. Monaco's up. Oh, I almost bought in the Monaco yesterday. That's wow. Um, I was looking at the chart. I was like, this thing definitely just bottomed. But yeah, for anything else, I'm not really watching anything. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Holy shit, I rambled on way too long. Anyways, uh, I'll be gone this weekend. So I'm going to make another video like right now, but it's going to be dropping probably Thursday or whatever, whatever day I'm going to be gone. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I need to make like four videos and they're actually going to be called tools of the trade and how to day trade cryptocurrencies, what tools you need, what you need to do with your own life in order to make it happen. And anything else that you guys should just know in the general sphere of things but definitely go follow me over at bitcoin overdose one more time guys uh your daily dose of crypto i'm bullish by the dip one bitcoin always equals one bitcoin and peace out